The update to MoType 2 by Yanobox features animated text emitters. In this video, I'll focus on creating particles from type and working with the particles to stylize your text. Before watching this, I recommend watching the motion mixer video to cover the basics. For these demos, I'm using MoType inside Final Cut Pro, but MoType works in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Apple Motion. Documentation is always available from the help button that appears in the inspector. Here you'll get detailed descriptions of each parameter within the various groups of the inspector. Every text graphic begins with the text editor at the top of the inspector and through use of special formatting, you can isolate and control specific characters in the animation. When exploring presets, always open the text editor to see how formatting produces unique results. Let's review some presets to get acquainted with parameters that relate to particles. I'm starting in the preset Single Cycle Particles. Notice that we have Single Birth Cycle enabled, so we're only seeing one particle instance emitting, which can help us see how our particles behave. I'll pause on a frame and disable the characters to exclusively view the results of particles. Similar to many factors within MoType, certain text can be isolated using the Apply To parameter, where we can see in this case, the headline is excluded. Particles can be created by character, word, or line. Notice as I cycle through these, the elements align accordingly to represent the single instance of the particle being emitted. What creates variety in your particles are the speed randomness and spread values. We can see the direction is set to the top Y axis, but the particles emit at different angles and rates thanks to these other two values. Next, focus on the emitter start at parameter in the particles group. It's important to realize that the result of your particle timing is heavily influenced by the values chosen above in the motion timing group. For emitter start at, the options are based on animation and element. Animation start or end considers the entire animation timing as a whole. Animation start begins emitting particles at the first frame of your animation defined in the motion timing group. Animation end waits until the animation completes at the final frame, then emits particles, which is the completion of the motion timing duration. Element start or end is defined by which motion timing animate option or element is chosen. The element is either character, word, or line. Element start begins emitting particles individually at the start of each character, word, or line based on duration, synchronize, and interpolation values. And element end will emit particles at the completion of each individual character, word, or line. Remember, all of your motion timing values are linked to your results, so it's a dance between parameters to get exactly what you want. Finally, I want to open preset light rays forward. This graphic uses particles to create a beam of rays around the text. Notice from the text editor how the type is outlined, yet filled in in the graphic. This way the particles appear as outlines around the type, giving that ray effect. Reviewing the preset parameters helps us to learn how different looks can be accomplished. With a few changes to some of these parameters, 
this can easily be customized to a a super cool effect. To recap, we focused on reviewing the values of parameters within various presets to better understand how to use particles and particle color groups of MoType. This reverse engineering approach is a valuable technique to become well versed with creating your own designs and animations from scratch. Check out our other video on MoType where we use similar principles to get an overview of trails.